you will be able to share this presentation with other folks at your company um, later this week. So again, we have many new users to Sage, um, some folks that are currently implementing, and some of our longtime clients. So we'll, welcome to everyone. As we are wrapping up this quarter, we will be welcoming any new topics to be discussed, any feedback about the current topics that we've talked about and presented on that you'd like to hear more of. So please feel free to email me, send that in, and we'll, um, we'll get started on next quarter's uh, topics. Hopefully everything has been helpful for everyone. Again, welcome to all. I am Leilani Evans, Construction Software Sales Associate at TAG. We are a certified Sage reseller and offer the Sage Construction Software Product Umbrella exclusively. We have dedicated this time every week to connect with our clients, and offer this free forum to help serve our Sage Construction Accounting community as best we can. We will often recruit additional resources to provide information that might add value to the way that you've designed or are designing your workflow. Our underlying goal is to assist you in streamlining your processes, things like reliable reporting, accuracy, and timely flow of information and data ultimately saving you time and money and keeping your liabilities and risks down. Now we recognize that does not begin and end with us as your software provider. So today we have a resource for payroll services working in conjunction with Sage. So please stick around at the end to hear more about how that works. We'll get started. Uh, today, construction payroll and Sage 100 contractor is our topic. We'll highlight and discuss the main reporting features of the payroll module. We'll talk about the capabilities of certified payroll reporting and uploading forms through um, ATRIX, union reporting, the workers' comp report, payroll calculations and expenses in Sage, federal and state tax reports, uh, again with ATRIX, and using your daily field reports to move time into payroll or using other digital timekeeping solutions, either through Sage or through third-party vendors. And then lastly, we'll discuss the workflow between Sage software and a payroll service like ADP. We'll bring in Jessica Moody with ADP who specializes and works specifically within the construction industry. Okay, so first point, certified payroll. So with Sage 100 Contractor, you have multiple certified payroll reports available to you. Your standard certified payroll report is most likely what you would be using with social shown or with mass social security numbers. There are also some filters that you can apply as well as you can see here. You have your Department of Labor report, and we also have a custom report available that we've written for LCP Tracker. It's available for purchase. It's a one-time fee of $750. These reports are not modifiable so with your report writer. So if you need something that's custom built for um, anything other than LCP Tracker, uh, we've heard um, EMARS and some other uh, specific reporting that might be needed from our customers, feel free and get in touch with us. Um, through Atrix, you can, file your federal and state forms directly through the software, either by printing and mailing um, or e-filing electronically. So that's the um, Department of Labor. So you have that already built into the system, so you don't need to worry about getting something custom for that. This is the A1-131 uh, California report and the federal uh, Department of Labor report. So um, if you choose not to take advantage of the ATRIX service, you can still proceed with running the report and printing that out uh, without electronically filing it. So the service that they provide is uh, e-filing that. Um, you would see the mar watermark when you print that report, but you would then just manually copy it over and then um, mail that in. Okay, union payroll. So the way that Sage handles union payroll is through classification set up in the 534 pay groups window. First, you'll set up your unions in 535 payroll unions, and then back in 534 pay groups, you will set up all of your classifications and then set the rates for the and the union. 
Then when you set up your employee in 521, you will note the union there. And then from there, you can run a few different union reports. One question that we've been asked before is that if an employee is getting direct deposit through the system, um, uh, what does the system use for a check number on all the reports? And you'll notice that the system automatically assigns a record number to every di direct deposit. So when you run the reports, the system will show that number that's assigned. Now note, if you use more than one union, if you have more than one union, the union report will report all hours of the employee toward whatever union is set to that employee. So if you, um, want to so you want to do this um, and run the report by union excuse me so we'll move on to the workers comp report so this is pretty straightforward um, setup is in payroll management workers compensation um, and the report can be run to show the totals only or separate the reports by job you can also do some filtering um, and filter by job numbers, the state, or check date. Um, so this report uh, is not modifiable. Um, it can, the, although automatically, be scheduled to run out of the system on a saved schedule. So those are your capabilities here with that. Um, regarding, here we go, payroll calculations and expenses. So payroll calculations can be set up in the 531 uh, screen. Uh, it can be uh, complex, so if you need help with us, just let us know and one of our uh, consultants, our SAGE certified consultants, can work with you on this. You'll be setting up all of your rules for computing deductions, benefits, and employer costs here. You can set up your calculations manually or use a set, standard set of calculations that SAGE 100 contractor provides. Once calculations have been set up, you can add them to the employee. Each employee maintains their own set of calculation rates, maximums, and quarterly totals for the calculations. Stage 100 contractor is not um, set up to track expenses per se. So um, if you'd like to pay employee expenses, like parking or per diem, um, this is also where you would uh, set up that calculation, not subject to tax. Um, it's a little bit of a workaround, so it can be kind of complex to set this up as well. So again, if you need assistance with this, just let us know and we'll get um, some help from one of our tag consultants. Okay, so um, the integration to Atrix. Uh, with this integration, you can complete more than 330 US state and federal payroll tax forms automatically, including unemployment, withholding, new hire reports, all happens directly from your Sage 100 contractor software. So the process is pretty easy. You'll launch Sage 100 contractor and Atrix will generate your government forms with most of the information pre-filled automatically. You can easily review and make adjustments on screen as needed. Then once you verify the information's accuracy, you'd then print the form to plain paper and then either process that manually by mail or you can e-file, again, using the Atrix e-file center. Um, Atrix is accredited and many clients see the benefits and time saver of using the service, but again, you're not forced to use them. It's something that's automatically there within Stage 100 contractor. You can choose to, to file it manually, simply print it, generate the report, and then um, you can use it from there. Okay. So payroll from daily field reports. There are a few different ways to get your labor hours into the system. And the idea is that we get these timesheets and hours in as soon as possible so that you have reports that reflect accurately and timely. So if you're using document control, which is a small add-on to project management, you can import the payroll hours from the daily field reports being completed on a daily basis. This eliminates that double entry and reducing your chance for human error, um, duplicating that, that whole process of getting that time from the timesheet onto uh, the system. On top of that, if you're, using, if you're utilizing Sage field operations 
to complete the dailies out on the job site, you can import this immediately. So up to the minute, once it's saved out in the field, um, it would then populate back in Stage 100 Contractor to have all of this information in the back office immediately. If you aren't using this piece of field operations or project management, what you can do is you can take a traditional paper timesheet um, and you can manually enter those hours um, in the daily payroll entry screen or um, the payroll record screen um, as well. So we'll go on to the last slide that I have here. It's about any other um, timekeeping um, solution that would then integrate with SAGE. So if you're using SAGE field operations, which is the SAGE um, licensed uh, program for getting that uh, timekeeping done out in the field, uh, or if you're using one of the other integrated uh, solutions, uh, there are many, many other vendors that have that integration to have send that information automatically. And every everyone has a different look and feel, different pricing structure. So um, I can help you to kind of navigate through all the different vendors. These are just a couple that we know our, our customers have worked with and they work just fine. So exact time. Um, Rumbix is another one about time. Uh, it's been a long time for a long time. Um, been around for a long time, excuse me. And then HH2 is also one that we work very closely with. So the, the daily payroll entry screen back in Stage 100 Contractor is where all of your payroll data will automatically show up so long as it's being handled um, in a timely fashion out in the field through one of these solutions. So uh, people in the field can simply put hours down on a job or specific cost code, or they can punch in and punch out, track travel start and stop time and breaks and lunches so the platform um, through sage is equipped with gps tracking and some of these other ones also have that as well so not only checking to see where your labor force is at any given time but that they're entering it in correctly and at the correct spot so if they're clocking in on a job site for a particular job but they pick something incorrectly um, you know that they've made an error just by seeing that location of, of where they are at. So you can easily correct that in the back office in a timely manner without having to go back and ask them what happened here. You kind of already can pick up on that. Um, you also have the capability to capture notes and a digital signature from the employee on a weekly basis, confirming that they received all their breaks and that they were not injured. So you have complete digital records on file for labor compliance issues. From there, these timekeeping solutions also give you the capability to track approval of these timesheets for up to three supervisory levels. Once they've all been reviewed, that approval can then be sent to the payroll administrator with the okay to review and then process. So it's a great tool. If you're interested in demoing any of these, I can facilitate and help you kind of navigate um, your time through that. So at this time, I'm going to be handing it off to Jessica Moody, who will talk about how her services will allow you to work better in payroll and HR and focus more on the other aspects of your business and your trade. So I'll open it up to questions and unmute everyone at the end of the presentation. Um, and again, we're recording this uh, for anyone who could not make it today. So Jessica, I'll hand it off to you. Thank you, Leilani. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. So my name is Jessica Moody. I am a district manager. Oh, so sorry. Did someone say something? <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> I am a district manager at ADP, and I am also the construction lead for the West Coast and most recently the Southeast. So what that means is I um, focus on the construction vertical. I am very familiar with Davis-Bacon and prevailing wage, certified payroll, labor distribution, AB 1513, all that good stuff. So it doesn't scare me. Um, I can definitely walk you through and help you um, as far as payroll and time and attendance goes with those aspects. I have some alphabet suit behind my name. Uh, that's where I get my street cred. I was actually a director of HR. So I've done payroll. I've had the collect time card. I've been in your shoes. I get it. So um, on the next slide, you'll see how ADP can assist all the way from recruitment to retirement. So I run across SAGE in the field most of the time. That's the most popular 
um, accounting system that my prospects have in the construction vertical, which is why Leilani and I are friends. Um, so we work with Sage 100 contractor, um, but a lot of times people want a robust payroll system that does everything from taxes to general ledger interface and and um, you know direct deposit, et cetera. So that is where ADP comes in. We can do just payroll and tax, but I just wanted you to see that it's everything from recruitment to retirement all the way down to your labor law posters. So everything human capital management, uh, we touch. On the next screen, I just wanted to give you a snapshot of what our payroll dashboard looks like. So typically our workforce now product is the solution for my construction prospects and clients. This is the payroll dashboard. It's very, um, Clean. It was built by clients, actually, in their feedback. So this is what they wanted to see and how they can run an efficient and effective payroll the first time around. So we offer warnings and so forth. On the next slide, I wanted to go over our time capturing system. So we have different methods. The most popular is um, the mobile, which is in the lower right-hand corner for construction, right? We have guys out in the field. They need to transfer you know, job costs as they go along, track their mileage, et cetera. So the mobile is typically what we offer um, for our construction clients. That's either on an iPad or a smartphone. But um, for the guys who are in, or gals who are in the warehouse, we also offer the in-touch clock in the upper left-hand corner, which is biometric. If you have office employees, we can also simply just offer the web timesheet, which is, um, a web page so that's um, for you as well on the next slide you'll see that you can also import your total hours so a lot of times um, you know if it's like an elevator company if they use lift keeper or I see exact time or you know there's just some specialized time and attendance software specific to your industry or your trade and we get that so if you're on a specialized time and attendance system you can import those hours into ADP. That way you're not manually retyping anything, reduces errors and uh, risk as well. So just wanted to let you know that this is what it looks like, it's, um, and those are our capabilities. So if you have any questions, um, you know, I'll send out my information, and you can reach out to me for a full demo. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Leilani. Thanks, Jessica. I will, um, that was really great. Um, I will go ahead and unmute everyone, and I'd welcome anyone to throw your questions at us. Um, anything regarding this particular topic, or if it's outside of it, um, any feedback on what you'd like to hear more about. Again, we are here every Wednesday. We're here for you, um, and really just want to enhance, uh, make your life easier with the job that you're doing. So, um, again, questions, anyone? Okay, we are recording this, and if anyone wants this slide deck or more information about any of these other solutions, I'm happy to send that over to you. Um, you all have my email address, and um, if you'd like to get in touch with Jessica, again, uh, just uh, feel free to use me. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great Wednesday and a great rest of your week.